Scene select has been changed. <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> yes, welcome back. So I don't even think that that probably, that probably didn't even get recorded I, on there. It might have. Oh my, oh my word, yeah. Welcome. 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 We are the Nostalgic Nomads. We are. Ooh. We are back playing Blair Witch. I was going to say Blair Witch Project, but this is just Blair Witch. Okay. It's a Blair Witch. Blair Witch. Can you imagine? I really hope somebody is actually named Blair and their last name is Witch. Blair Witch. So badly now. Miss Witch. Miss Witch. Oh, oh. crap. Already, we're beginning uh, strong. We are. <laughs> we shake. Of it. Can you pet the dog to calm down? Uh, it's a thing. Pet. It's like pet. a Puss in Boots thing where he pets the Good therapy boy. dog. Yes. Ah, ditto. Yeah. Puss in Boots was such a good thing. Oh my gosh, yeah. The, the last, last wish, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know who said it. This is not original, but yeah, that, that was not... That was better than it had any right to be. <laughs> For, like a Puss in Boots movie. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, what were we talking about? Speaking of movies. Oh yeah, we were talking about Wish. Wish. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, I wish uh, that movie didn't exist. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> or that it just would have been better. Cause yeah. like. Yeah, the concept art and stuff and the ideas for it were really cool, but they did not execute those cool ideas. Yeah, Damn from it. like what I've seen and heard, it it's been a flop. But, like, for me, I can't say much about it because I haven't seen it, but I've seen previews, and I'm seeing a very noticeable pattern that Disney, anyway, is kind of turning into making these adorkable mm. characters that are like, I'm just unbearably cringy. Aren't I cute? <laughs> it's so true. They all have, like, the same personality. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, seriously. Also, too, I watched a video where they're like, for the last like three ones that they've released, like I'm thinking Frozen with it, with Anna, who's very adorable, quote unquote. At least there's a reason mm -hmm. for her being adorable, like because she grew up away from everybody and isolated. Yeah. Right. So there's that. And what, what was the other one? Moana Rapunzel. and Rapunzel. Yeah, Rapunzel too, though. Like there's a reason for that. She didn't have anyone except Gothel. Yeah. And that's why she would be a little bit. I, there was a good reason too for Moana as well, although. She wasn't quite as adorable, I feel like, to be honest. She was a little bit, but not She was not more really. clumsy, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. And adorable. And that's, and that's funny. And it also wasn't her entire character. Mm-hmm. I related to Moana quite a bit, actually. Just, like, her whole wanderlust thing and looking out and being like, I want to go travel forever. Like, I related to that a lot. Exactly, yeah. Um, but... We, did, we saw the movie, movie, me and Nova. Yeah. See where it leads. Mm -hmm. We went on Thanksgiving into theaters to see it. Oh, okay. It was, uh, it was not good, <laughs> to put it lightly. <laughs> it was not good. Yeah, people have been saying, like, I've seen a couple, also, again, videos and stuff. I think yeah. I had to watch videos of other people crapping on it because <laughs> I just wanted to hear what other people were saying, and I was like, shit, it's like shared trauma. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, and someone was like, this feels like it was written by AI. It, I wouldn't put it past Disney, honestly. Yeah. One of the things that really um, disappointed me about the movie, though, um, quick spoiler, in case you do want to watch this movie, but... Uh, we wouldn't the, suggest it. Yeah, but anyways, the, the way that she like kind of saves herself and the people is by just singing and they start singing together <laughs> and like their heart energy like helps them get like unbound by the evil tendrils of energy and they're all like yeah you know and, like love and like magic and we're all stars and like and he's like oh i've been defeated <laughs> <laughs> oh well damn i was lay, lay, lay down and die i'm <laughs> like <laughs> Dude, like, if I was in the military, I'd be like, we need to harness this heart energy, this love energy. It belongs in a museum! Yes. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, I know. And I was, like, hoping at the end, because there's, like, this moment where, like, he, like, pushes back and, like, they kind of falter for a minute, and I'm like, oh, are they not going to be able to defeat him with magic? Because I thought that would have been better if, like, they try and they fail, so they have to get, like, more clever about it. Like, that's what I thought was going to happen for a minute. Really? But instead, they just started singing louder, and that <laughs> worked. <laughs> if you don't get what you want, just scream louder. Oh, my gosh. People talk loud when they want to seem smart. Correct. Yeah. Correct! 
But oh, like, hey, the mine cart is now fixed. No, you you know you, you have a good story when it ends with some resolution where the, the characters have to be clever about it, or like you don't see it coming, or it kind of ties back to yeah. something else in your in the story where you problem solve with it instead of just kind of blunder your way through it. Yeah. And uh, they did not do that at all. No, they did not. And there are so many better stories. And yeah, and this was Disney's like 100 year like animated like and special like thing. anniversary special. If they should have had Encanto be the 100 special. Oh Encanto my Encanto was really good. It's Encanto so good. was fantastic. Yeah. And I get it. Like people will be like, well, uh, Mirabel is adorable, but I'm all like, she's like. That's the other one. That was. It wasn't Moana. It was Mirabel. Yeah. I was like, I, I, I liked Mirabel. Like, I could, like, see where she was coming from in a way, so it wasn't, like, un, unbearably adorable, but, like... No. And, again, it was, a, it was also, too, a, like, she had a reason to be of, like, she was kind of the outcast in her family, and she didn't exactly know where she fit in. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's a reason for that. Yeah, and when you feel that way, then your self-confidence is always at, like, a constant low, so, of course, she's going to be kind of awkward and stuff. Yeah. And yeah, exactly. Oh, are we moving? Nope. <laughs> nope, it's just the camera. Is the dog in the cart with us? Yes, he is. Aw, hitching a Good. ride. Well. Oh. Duh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We're <laughs> sorry, you don't know how to work a mine cart? Nope, I don't. <laughs> I mean, do you? Yeah, every Tuesday. I have questions. <laughs> You don't know me. You don't know my life. I do actually. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I, I kind of do. <laughs> shh. Shh. They don't have to know. Quiet. Be quiet. Oh, oh, boy. This is ominous. To the sawmill. Hooray! I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Uh, well. Um. Let's pay it. Well, we're fucked. <laughs> Alright, Bobby. That's our stunt buddy. I didn't know there was a blocking operation out here. Stop getting no permits in the 60s. That's not strange. The cat is behind you. Just being blah, 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 blah. Yeah. One more thing about Wish. Uh, oh, yeah. One more kind of spoiler ish, but not really. Uh, the main girl, Asha, I think. She was, like, supposed to be, like, the fairy godmother or something in Cinderella. Like, it was, like, her sort of origin story. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Um, they, they could have done so many creative things with that. Yeah. But, like, can you imagine, yeah. like, a fairy godmother's origin story? That would be cool. That would be very cool, but it was so lackluster and just blah. And soulless, yeah. honestly. Um, it just kind of seemed like a cash grab, like an obvious cash grab. Yeah, and I also heard, too, that they were, like, were constantly, like, firing writers. Probably because of the writer strike, honestly. It probably suffered a little Probably. Don't put your hand in something like that! Gryffindor. <laughs> donkey engine. The donkey engine. Donkey. Is there other things in here? I feel like there would be. Paint. Paint, yes. Oh, my God. Ooh, Sardine. What is that? Oh, sardines? Okay. 
Good it's morning. still gross. And Delicious. No. Yes. No. Yes. Delicious and nutritious. The only thing I would, I don't know, I found a recipe for one of my favorite Korean foods, budejige, and it's literally the, like, they use the sardines to make the broth. The hand is missing. And, mm. like, it's like fish broth, and it's actually delicious. But I don't know if that's actually yeah, accurate that's to how they make it. Come on, buddy. It feels like the answer is no. But I don't know, dude. I don't know. I'll go fetch the handle. Seriously. Fetch it. What's that? Is that the handle? No, it's dog tag. The dog tag. Another one? Voice. Catholic. Wait, were, was it saying other religions yes, on there? Yes, there was another one earlier, I think last episode, that said Jewish. Yeah, I remember that. That's weird. Well, honestly, if you have like a, a burial thing connected mm -hmm. to your religion, then that uh, makes sense. Never mind, it does. I don't like this wailing of the damned music we have going on. <laughs> That's a good point. Dude, that that would be an awesome band name. The wailings of the damned. Yeah, yeah seriously. The machine. That also kind of sounds like a band name. Oh yeah, that's true. Maybe the that's machine, just the machine. Is it working now? Well, there's some so yeah. It's oh. on fire now. Fire. It's not on the ground right next to it, is it? If it is, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> it better not be. <laughs> that would suck. Yes, it would. Oh, yeah, I was saying, can you have him find it? Search. He thinking. He loading. Is it right there? It's in there, huh? Uh, maybe we need to close, close the valves. He, he's done. <laughs> he's giving up. Thanks, Bullet. Couldn't do it without you. Oh. What is it? We're not leaving. Right, right, boy? boy? <laughs> No, we don't have time for the environment. Oh, right now. <laughs> Among all the other cans in this entire place, you what? pick up that one that literally has nothing in it, and it doesn't even have any writing on it. What is this? This is very fascinating. Cans are fascinating. How dare sure. you discriminate against cans? Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, you can. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Maverick. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, no, freaking Wish oh, would have been oh, such a rich. good, like, the backstory of a fairy godmother would have been really cool. Yeah. yeah. If, like, especially if they, like, fully, like, committed to that. But it didn't feel like they fully committed to literally anything in this, sh in this movie. So true. Like, oh, see, the music was horrendous. <laughs> the music was not good. Yeah. The music, someone described it as a, um, like, dollar store version of Lin-Manuel Miranda. <laughs> and that was pretty accurate, actually. No, I, um, yeah, and yeah, and, like, again, the concept art is really cool. Mm -hmm. Like, there's concept art, and, and I feel like that almost is more popular than, like, the movie, or more people have seen it, but the shooting star wasn't supposed to originally be this, like, adorable thing. It was supposed to be, like, a, a, a boy, like, a, a guy. Yep. And there's really pretty fan art, or not fan art, there's really pretty concept art of it. Oh yeah, I think I saw something about that on TikTok where it's like I drew the cut character Starboy or something like that. And this, yeah, this is the. Uh, where is it? Hang on, it's, my phone is loading. Yeah, that was the concept art. Yeah. I would have much rather watched that movie. Come on. Would have been better if she had. She, if she was able to share a conversation with this magical being. Yeah, I think he might have was he might have he was supposed to be mute, I think, actually. Oh, okay. But even still, there's a lot of communication you can do without speaking. Yeah. Cause like I forget what percentage it is, but it's definitely it's like seventy five or like ninety five it's like some ridiculous amount of human communication is nonverbal. Did you pull the lever? Pull the lever, punk. Uh Go. Here we 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 go. Yeah. And yeah, and the uh 
the villain, I don't understand, the villain, like, was supposed to... Oh, not far back in the <laughs> uh, You know, it was originally supposed to be his wife and him be the villains. Oh. Which, can you imagine, like, a dual, like, villain song? That would be very... Because it's like, I can't remember there ever being really a dual villainous. There's not. In yeah. Disney. Then why didn't they do that then? Villain couple, yeah, that would have been awesome. That would have been so cool. That alone, even if the rest of the story sucked, I feel like that would have given them points. Yeah. In favor of it. Yeah. And like when we were watching it, like we, Come on. like her like friends, there were too many of them, and none of them had like distinct personalities. So. Oh, yeah. It was just supposed to be the seven dwarfs. Like, that's what it was supposed to be, like, that's what I'm saying. Hmm. Sounds like they were trying too hard. Yeah. Like, trying way too hard, and at the same time, not enough. Exactly. <laughs> Do better. It just reminds me of, like, like, Christmas presents under the tree, and you, they look really nice, and then you actually unwrap oh. them, and they're just empty. You're like, oh. Like, this looked better as, like, a decoration or, like, a concept. No, that reminds me of something really sad that I saw on social media. Uh-oh. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I think it was maybe right the first time that <laughs> maybe you didn't go back far enough. Dang it. We could just cut a lot of this. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Um, but there's this thing that apparently people really do sometimes give their kids coal for Christmas because they didn't, like, behave. And, oh, yeah. and that's like, that's traumatic, honestly. Like, even if you're like a stinker of a kid, like, I don't think any kid deserves that. You got a dumb Come rock on, for, for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's, yeah, that's not okay. There's another one, too, of like, there's this video that we saw. Um. Uh -huh. Of these, all the of people opening their stockings on Christmas, and they're going around, and they're like, "Oh, what's who's this empty one?" And it's the moms, because the the husband didn't get her anything, and obviously the kid. Well, it's not the kid's responsibility; they're kids. Yeah. But the husband, sh it just made me sad and angry. Hey. Woo! Hooray! Oh, God, that scared me. <laughs> Oh gosh, that actually scared me so much. Oh, thank you. We, we don't want whatever you're selling. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. That would be an awesome horror thing too, the solicitor. That is too close. I don't like that. Uh -oh. Alright. Bugaboo. Uh -oh. shine the light on him. Dude, I came across this cool animation of that the really? sun and moon guy. I'll have to show you guys later. Absolutely. But yeah, no. Except this one, honestly, is a lot scarier. I don't like it. Uh -huh. What the heck? What was that sound? What is happening? Someone chopping a tree? What is that? I need a break. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Good. Uh, I really wonder if that's in the game or if 
that's just an audio glitch. I, I think it's in the game. Just to add to that audio horror stuff. Yeah, I don't... It's an audio glitch? It's creepy. Yeah. Watch the recording didn't pick it up and it is an audio glitch. Yeah. brought in due to extreme panic attacks, insomnia, and sleepwalking after traumatic experience, I advise three therapeutic sessions per week. Yeah, that's a lot. During a preliminary interview, I was able to determine the following. Patient actively avoids recalling event. He uh, experiences vivid nightmares, sense event, possible coping mechanism. He exhibits emotional numbness, irrational aggression, uh, and disassociation to event. Overall, he is very nervous. Possible undiagnosed anxiety neuroses. That sounds awful. Yeah. Now, I think, I haven't finished the game, but I played, like, a good, like, three-fourths of it, and I believe that you're finding pieces of your own Past. paperwork. That actually makes sense. I was wondering. Like, discharge papers and psychological reports and all that sort of stuff. Dang. That, I think, makes a lot of sense. I'm also glad you played about three fourths of this. That way, you don't have to like worry about relearn like learning controls. Yeah. This is uh, terrifying. Poop. And it, yeah. Is it a poop stick? It's a poop stick. Oh. Oh. That's like a dummy or something. Okay, that one to me looks a lot less normal. Looks that like a one. voodoo thing. It's got like the yeah. tendrils, like the black stuff on the white tree. Yeah, and that looks like someone made a passing attempt at like trying to like carve like a person or something. Yeah, like you see shoulders and hips and the other arms one. like wrapped around on themselves. Yeah, the other ones looks like maybe like they started carving and then gave up not even halfway through. Yeah. It's like, screw art. <laughs> I'm done with this. <laughs> I'm done. I'll never be an artist. They <laughs> throw it dramatically to the side. Yeah. No, yeah. Maybe that's why they became a monster because they realized they sucked at art and went on a rampage. <laughs> I mean, that uh, wouldn't be the first uh, failed artist to go on a rampage. I was gonna oh. say I was gonna make that connection. I didn't even think about that. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, there's like a there was a. I'm trying to remember what. I wish I had the post so that way I could like not misquote it. But it was talking about, they're all like, why does Starbucks hire, like, struggling artists? And it said, and then someone commented, it was a Tumblr thread, and it was all like, why does Starbucks, like, why is, like, a majority of Starbucks employees, like, struggling artists? And it was all like, uh, because we don't want them going off and starting another world war again. And oh, I was God. all like, that's horrible. You know, <laughs> as somebody who worked at a coffee shop... I'm, I'm terrified of anything I say negative about a particular chain coffee shop mm -hmm. that definitely has, you know, takes their name inspiration from the book Moby Dick. Um, but I did work for that. Mm -hmm. A coffee, but, uh, coffee thing for like four years. I think it was four years. What's my point? What was I talking about? Oh, uh, failed, um, yeah. a lot of us were struggling artists. I met my other friend who I'm very close to that recently moved to LA to go um, pursue being a film director as well. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to a different place to do the same thing. And like I met my artist friend that I just showed you her Instagram at Starbucks. Ah, okay. And I, mean, I, I mean there there are a lot of us. It's not even wrong. Not the starting the other war thing. Yeah, but yeah no. <laughs> quite honestly. <laughs> It was like a Tumblr thread, so it was just like someone being snarky and being all like, well, we're going to turn war again. Of like. course. <laughs> but my word, too. Anybody who works, like, retail, or as a barista, or as a waitress, we all have some real horrific stories. Yes. Yep. And I think all three of us have had jobs like that. Yeah, retail. Yep. 
customer service just is like, I swear, it's like you go to war. It's like you're a soldier and every day you have some sort of battle. Yes. A little bit. Like, it's horrible. Like, even on days where nothing happens, just the mental toll it takes, like, I imagine, like, someone on, like, a battlefield just, like, trudging onwards. Like, the <laughs> mental toll is just so much. It's a lot. It's awful. Like, I would really, I would rather do pretty much almost any other job. Maybe not any other job, but honestly, like, a lot of them. No, we gotta do the thing. Or wait, nope. Oh, okay. Like, it's a loop. Oh, that's true, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. You make a loop de loop one. and pull. Oh, what the heck? What is that? Maintenance. Didn't they say something about the maintenance shed? Yes, they did. They did. Oh. Oh, they ah. said something about the parts of that. The parts uh, but let's... Yeah, I think we should go to the maintenance shed in the next episode. On the next episode of Blair Witch with the Nomads, we're going to the maintenance shed. That's right. Woo! Until next time, happy wandering. Happy wandering. Happy wandering. Wandering. <laughs>